Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and I just recently gave birth three months ago to a baby girl. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys some newborn slash zero to three month baby items that are must-haves for me personally. I know every baby is different and everyone has different needs, but I just wanted to share with you some products that have really been working for us. So I'm just gonna get right into it. So the first thing I wanna share with you guys is this Boppy Lounger. These are really popular these days. Um, I feel like everybody gets them. They're just really awesome if you just wanna place the baby next to you on the couch, just put them down for a few minutes and honestly our baby slept in this for the first month probably before we started putting her in her crib because she in the bassinet we had the halo bassinet and she would just kind of roll over in it and so I didn't feel comfortable her being that young um, just rolling and tossing and turning like that so I had her sleep in the boppy lounger inside of the bassinet um, it's just what worked for us at the time. So I definitely could not live without that. She still naps in it all the time. We just place her in it if we need to set her down for a second. It's just definitely been a staple for us. And along with that, we have the boppy. It's just the regular boppy. Um, so this is really great if you are breastfeeding. And even if you're not breastfeeding, if you just like put this around your waist and you kind of just want to hold the baby there in a comfortable position. You don't feel like holding the baby and your arms are getting tired. Sometimes if I, if this is in another room, I just use like other pillows to like prop my arms up, which definitely is less convenient than just having the boppy wrapped around you. So it's really nice if you just want the baby to hang out in your lap or, you know, if you're breastfeeding and you don't want to hold the baby, your arms get tired. So that's really nice to have. Also, with this, you can change the, um, the cover of it so it zips and then you can wash the outside. So that's really convenient or you can get another cover. They have a bunch of key patterns. Another thing we couldn't live without is this. It's a baby wrap carrier. And I think this brand is Bambini and Me. And there's a bunch of different brands. We just, we put this on our baby registry from Amazon. I think it was pretty cheap, maybe, maybe 20 bucks if that. And it looks really complicated, but once you get the hang of it, it's really simple. Um, you just kind of wrap it around you and then it forms a little pocket in the front. And you just stick the baby inside and it's really nice for the beginning of the baby's life for like the first month. She still uses it sometimes, but definitely that first month we were putting her in it all the time because if we wanted to get things done around the house and we couldn't just sit on the couch and hold her all day, it's really nice to have her wrapped around you in this and you can kind of get things done and walk around and they just like being close to you that young. So this is really nice to have. So, before I had Hadley, I put a ton of muslin blankets on my baby registry and they're the really thin blankets and they're supposed to be really good for swaddling. Well, we realized pretty early on that our baby did not like to be swaddled. She, when she was in the womb, every ultrasound, she had her hands up by her mouth. So I think she was just really used to having her hands up near her face and it kind of helps self-soothe. So we didn't really use these for swaddling, but we have a ton of them. Honestly, they're good for a lot of things. They're good for just regular blankets. They're good for um, like a burp cloth. We use that as a spit up rag. Honestly, they're easily washable and um, they're really thin. So they're good for the summertime. So we still like them. I don't regret putting them on my registry. Um, so. Yeah, I would still recommend getting these. Um, to talk about swaddling, so she didn't like to be swaddled with her hands down, so we ended up getting these. It's a love to dream swaddle sleep sack type thing. So it kinda, we kinda make fun of her when she wears it. She looks like Patrick the Starfish, or, or like a little bat. It's really cute though. Um, but she really likes it because 
she still, it still kind of contains the startle reflex a little bit, but it doesn't take away her ability to self-soothe. So she can still have her hands kind of near her face, but she doesn't full on extend every time she like has a startle. So we like that and it's like tight around the waist. So it's really comforting and it's very lightweight. So it's also good for the summer and you can also get different sizes. So we got a small, which is good until it has like the weights on there. I think it's good until they're 11 pounds. And then after that, there's a medium. And then you can also get ones where the, the little sleeves zip on and off. So when they are transitioning from the, um, the swaddle stage, then you can actually unzip the arms off and just have it as a regular sleep sack. So I'll probably be purchasing one of those next. But for now, this still works for us, and she really likes them, so definitely recommend getting this. We do use birth cloths. I like them because they're soft, and these are just the Carter's brand. There's tons of brands out there, but I like the Carter's. They're super soft. They're pretty absorbent, so we definitely go through these a lot. I still recommend getting a bunch of these. So also along with the burp, the regular burp cloths, we got these and these are just supposed to be for cloth diapering and they're made by Gerber. You can get them at Target. I think I got a 10 pack for about, I don't know, I think maybe $10 if that. Um, I'll link everything down below by the way if you are interested in any of these products. So th these are really good spit up rags. They're super absorbent and they're easily washable. Like I said, they come in they come in huge packs that you can buy and they're just multi-use. Sometimes I even use them as a, like a little blanket, you know. And they're not nice, they're so cheap, so you can just throw them away if they really get ruined cuz I think um I think these are a little more expensive. So, if you if you don't want to spend a bunch of money but your baby spits up a lot, I would recommend getting these. At my <laughs> baby shower, a bunch of people got us these really cute, they're hooded towels. Um, they come in like different animals. I think we got an owl. Um, I think this this is the fox, and we got an elephant one, and we got I think we got one other one. But these are super soft and super absorbent, so we'll just kind of throw it into the dryer while she's getting a bath, so it gets all warm and toasty. And then um, we just use this after she takes a bath, and I like it because you just slip it over her head and you wrap her up and it's nice and cozy and absorbent and absorbs the water pretty nicely so we definitely like these also on the topic of baby bathing um, I got these recently actually they are the Johnson's head to toe baby cleansing cloths quick and gentle all over clean between baths no need to rinse so this is good. We don't really like to give her a bath every single day. She does love the water, so sometimes we will just kind of um, rinse her with water and not soap because I don't want to take all of her soft baby skin off of her. <laughs> so this is just nice to have, especially she spits up a lot and you know if she just ends up getting like sweaty because it's a hot summer day or you know whatever it is, these are really super convenient to have and there are no tears obviously and yeah so I really like these and they smell really good. Also what we've been using after she bathes especially I've been putting this Aquaphor baby it's like what is it it's Aquaphor healing ointment for babies so it really helps with any rashes or any kind of skin issues so I really like this and I usually put this on her um, her bottom area after she bathes and it really helps um, throughout the night it kind of heals everything up from all the damage that was done <laughs> during the day to her bottom area and so I just really like it. It's for dry, chapped, or irritated skin, relieves diaper rash within six hours. So that's why I put it overnight. It just kind of heals her up and then in the morning she's there's no redness at all on her bottom. Along with the Aquaphor, I've been really loving the, I don't really know how to say it, Bordox, Bodrix. I don't, I don't know how to say it, but it's um, the butt paste, and you can get it at Target or probably Walmart or your local convenience store. So it's just diaper rash ointment. It's all natural. So this is pediatrician recommended. It's all natural ingredients. And they also have one that comes in a green bottle, which I have gotten before that I really like. And it has aloe in it. 
so it's instantly soothing to the skin if your baby has any diaper rash going on. And I also really like this brand because we were using the Desitin. I always say that incorrectly. I always say Destin or Destinin or I don't know. But you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the Desitin, I think that's what it's called. So we do use that sometimes, but I don't really like that formula because it's super thick. And I like this because it's thinner and it's not so hard to get off of your hands. So I would recommend this brand. So I've mentioned this before in previous videos, but we would not survive without the Windy. And I've kind of showed it before, but it's just this little tube thing, I guess you could call it, and it helps relieve their gas in a natural way. So instead of give, giving them medicine, um, it just kind of helps get the air bubbles out. And a lot of times it actually will stimulate a bowel movement if they are having issues getting that out. So this is really awesome. I know it sounds really weird and it like it feels really weird doing it the first couple times you feel like you're being super invasive and you're hurting them but you're really not she actually smiles every time I use this because it's such a relief for her and babies in the new stages like zero to three months they definitely are super gassy so this really helps with that so if the windy isn't working for us I will use the gas relief drops and this is just the methicone um, I've tried the gripe water and honestly the gripe water doesn't work as well so this has been working pretty decently I've used a couple different brands this is the little remedies brand so it says gas relief drops the methicone slash anti-gas gently works in minutes no artificial dyes sodium free so and she takes it pretty easily you know she doesn't um, she doesn't refuse it when I give it to her and it comes with a little syringe in here so I would also recommend that as far as bottles go so I have tried almost every single brand of bottles and honestly this is my favorite brand I've tried so far it is called even flow and you can get them at Target, a three pack, and this is the big, the bigger bottles. I think this is a nine ounce bottle. You can get a three pack at Target for 10 bucks. So they're on the cheaper end because bottles really can get expensive. So these are nice to have. And I've noticed that she spits up less and she doesn't eat as fast with these bottles. So if you're going to formula feed or you plan on pumping, I'd recommend getting bottles. Even if you don't plan on doing those things, you should have some bottles just in case because you never know what your situation is going to be when your baby gets here. So even flow, I would recommend those. Other bottles that have worked for us, um, the Playtex Fenty Air. I think that's my number two top choice. So, so during the first month or two that she was sleeping in our room in the bassinet this was given to me as a gift from a co-worker and I love it it is a little whale night light and all you do is you tap it it's not working right now because the battery's dead but you tap it on your nightstand and it lights up and it does I think seven different colors it also has a program where you can just it switches all the colors so this is nice and it's not too bright. It was nice for me getting up in the middle of the night to feed her or to pump or to change a diaper so without turning on the bright light next to us. So it kind of kept her sleepy because the light wasn't too bright and didn't completely wake her up. It didn't wake my husband up. So I really recommend this. So I don't know what brand this is. I will have to try to find the box or look it up for you guys. But yes, I definitely recommend this night light. It's awesome. You can also, it like smushes in. So you can also turn the light on that way instead of like picking it up and tapping it. So I really like it. So another newborn to three month baby essential for me was a sound machine. And I really like this sound machine because it has multiple functions on it. So this is by Munchkin and it has a little projector screen on the top so it shoots up images onto the ceiling so that's really cool for when the baby gets a little bit older and she can actually pay attention 
to like what's going on around her a little more so this will be nice and it also just has a regular night light on here and it has different sounds you can play it has heartbeat ocean lullabies mozart white noise and rain and it also has a timer on here so you could do it for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or just without a timer. You can just constantly play it. It has volume on here, and yeah. So I really like it. This is super convenient for us, so I would recommend this. So another staple for us has been obviously a diaper bag. This is by Land, I think it is. Yeah, it's by Land, Mommy and Baby Bag. It's really cute. It comes in different colors. I chose the kind of the denim blue color because it matches with a bunch of stuff. I really like it. It has multiple pockets. It has a front pocket with bottle holders. It has side pockets on both sides. And the inside is pretty big. So it goes pretty deep. You can fit a bunch of stuff in here. So I really like it. I'll link that down below as well. Alright guys, so I think that's pretty much it for the baby essentials that we've been using lately up until three months. I hope this video was super helpful. I will link all the items down below like I said. If anyone has any more questions, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Also, I always look out for any new mom advice because I've only been doing this for three months and I'm by no means a pro. So if there's any other baby products that you think I really need to try, please let me know. I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. That would be awesome if you guys could do that. And I will see you guys in my next video. See ya.